Chef Carl's here, representing Charbonos this time. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. You too. It's been a while. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, thanks for coming back. So uh, you got some new family meal plans. Uh, yes. They're working on. They're not on. They're not on the menu yet. They're not. They're not out yet. Okay. So, um, so really, just kind of always right now in the restaurant business, you're always trying to think about what people need and want. And, right. Um, so. Uh, a couple things that uh, we were looking at and that I thought of was maybe doing um, some family meal packages where people come in, get uh, you know meal for two or for four or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be a it'll be a good deal, yeah. right? Um, Start it at Charbonos so and maybe do it at the Creeks where you can get the dinner bread and you can get house salads and you know all the things and we'll surround it. Um, and then also kind of just thought about uh, giving people a recipe card too, so that sure, some yeah. of these things that we make, um, then you know they could make it themselves, make yeah. it themselves next time, or kind of build onto their own little recipes. They're, they're so not, they're not comfortable being uh, doing dine-in, or if I'm sorry, with the e-learning and the work at home, you right. you want a good representation of a home cooked meal, but you don't you don't have the time, maybe not even the energy. Right. So that's kind of. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking. So um, I'm just going to show you guys one of them. We're mm -hmm. going to have a bunch of ideas, and I think we're going to start this probably early September and kind of okay. go through, you know, through the winter months or whatever, so that when people get tired of cooking themselves, you right. can do exactly. something like this yeah. or whatever. So great idea. Um, we'll also probably bring back some of the some of the old classics, some of the old favorites from the Stone Creek days, and um, we have a lot of customers that uh, really are enjoying those. But mm -hmm. today I'm going to do. Um, uh, roasted pork loin. Uh, we're going to do a marsala sauce with it. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to get some get some risotto going. So I took a pork loin and, and pre-roasted it. Mm -hmm. um, so in the oven, 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. Then I put a thermometer in it, turned it all the way down to 200, and okay. just let it sit there and and cook till about 127 degrees. Is what I did with that one. About 127 degrees. Um, yeah, so don't go 128. It'll be <laughs> ruined. I'm telling you. That was an incredibly specific approximation you just did there. Right. So I'm going to get some uh, risotto going as well here to go with it. We're going to try to give you the whole give you the whole dish here. Um, so. Uh, when you do a marsala sauce, um, something that you can make ahead or you can pick it up kind of a la minute in the pan. Mm -hmm. um, I'm starting right now with just some onions and some mushrooms, whatever kind of mushrooms you'd like to do. Okay. Um, portobello's, carmini's, uh, shiitake's, because that's what I had. Right. Okay. So, um, it's, it's flexible. It's versatile. Right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with that, uh, a little bit of oil in the pan, and then I'm going to add some butter to it. And we're going to kind of make our roux in the pan. Mm -hmm. So the roux is going to be what thickens it and makes it kind of a nice thick sauce. A few different ways that you could do this. Um, you know, a lot of the Asian sauces, uh, you'll use cornstarch in a slurry. Right. Uh, a lot of the kind of Italian French, you'll use uh, flour and, and some kind of fat, butter or something mm -hmm. like that. So um, we've got those starting to caramelize there. Okay. So I added some more butter, about another tablespoon, and then I'm going to add um, a couple, maybe just a couple tablespoons of flour. Thicken and, up a bit. And I go, really, I, I'm watching this one, um, and when you, when you do this, you want it to be, you want it to be fluid where it doesn't all stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay. Um, a good uh, measurement is kind of equal parts flour and butter. All right. Um, is is going to get you to where you need to be. So. You want to cook that for just a couple minutes. You don't want it to burn, um, but you do need to cook the flour a little bit, otherwise it's still going to break on you. Are you kidding me? That's all I got, huh? So, we've we got. Could, we could give you the entire hour, and at 10:57 you'd be like, "Wait, that's it? That's all I get?" I know. All right, so we're going to do some of the pork loin there. So mm -hmm. to finish our marsala sauce, a um, few tablespoons of marsala wine. Um, and we're going to let that deglaze the pan. Mm -hmm. And then I've got some chicken stock here. Oh, okay. uh, this is, if you notice how dark this is, yeah. so a good little thing that you can do at home also is uh, make your chicken stock, but reduce it all the way down. So this was like a big pot of chicken stock okay. that I reduced all, right. all the way down. And then it doesn't take up nearly as much room in your house, and you can add a little bit of water to it as well. Ah, I get it. 
sort of reconstitute a little bit. That's right. So, um, and then, you know, it's kind of like one of those old time bouillon cubes, you know what I mean? Yes. You just throw that right in there. I used to pop those in my mouth when I was a kid. I just, uh, I used to I'm sure that was good for you. <laughs> so, uh, our now. sauce is getting, getting thick here a little bit. We're basically going to take this. We're going to finish it with some herbs. Um, lots of pepper in these. That's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. And then um, all this stuff with the family meal packs, though, will come uh, hot, ready to go. And then it'll also come kind of pre-portioned. So okay. if, uh, if you get this dinner, you're going to get a to-go container of risotto for two or for four. Mm -hmm. You're going to get okay. probably the pork loin with the sauce already on top of it. And then you're going to get your side vegetable or whatever. So again, like you said before, if you want to just, you know, yeah. take it home, get it all out get it all before you get it all plated it up. Out. That's it's right. Fine. It'll be ready to go for you. So, um, so we're doing a lot of fun things like this um, in in the restaurants. Well, you guys are doing a lot of rethinking. Yeah, a lot of rethinking. Uh, I mean, carry out has turned into such a huge part of what restaurant life is mm -hmm. um, that you know I think the more things and that we can offer uh, the communities, and I, I just think it helps everybody. You know, sure, um, yeah. you know, we're we're obviously trying to keep everybody employed at the mm -hmm. restaurants and you know so go support all your local restaurants or whatever there's but al there's also going to be a uh, a citrus roasted chicken right yeah citrus roasted chicken um, summer vegetables. we're going to do some salmon we're i've got i've got about seven or eight things to start okay um, when should we start looking for this on the website early early september, early september? yeah so right. I, a couple more weeks i want to be able to go out and train the team and uh mm -hmm. right now i'm working on you know some marketing things with it some photos or whatever and some stuff so that people know what it is and uh, writing all those recipe cards sure. out so yeah, that you guys can make it at home help. too. Well, you, you had my kids at bread. You knew that though. Oh yeah. We're so. going to let him plate that up. We'll show that a little bit later. Charbonos.com, CRGDining.com. We'll put those links on IndieStyle.tv. He's appeared on America's Got Talent and Comedy Central and he and his fiance are going to appear on IndieStyle next. We're going to have some fun with Kevin Downey Jr. when we come back.